Okay guys, welcome to Tuesday. Uh, look, we're going to do something very similar to what we did yesterday today. Uh, that seemed to go down pretty well. It's a good all body workout, six different exercises, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, six exercises, twice through, 12 minutes, done. So nice and easy. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate the six exercises for you like I did yesterday. Uh, we're going to work through from top to bottom. You'll be able to follow along. Uh, I'll give you rest time and remember you're using that 15 second rest time to get set up for the next exercise. So it's not a lot of rest. It's really about just giving you enough time to get ready so you can push through for the second 45 seconds, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, 45 seconds. So 12 minutes, pretty much flat out. Just enough time to try and slow that heart rate down a bit before you get into the next one. Um, you do need to be warm. It is all body again. Uh, there's a, a range of upper body, lower body ab work in today's workout. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, we're going to start with our deep squats. So pretty normal, feet are hip width apart, coming down on a deep squat. Up we go. Simple as that, up and down. So trying to make sure you get your hips level with your knees. So it's all the way down, all the way back up. From there, just to get our heart rate elevated a bit, we're going to go into our skipping. So you can use a skipping rope. Uh, I had one here with me a second ago and it caused all sorts of problems so I'm going to go back to virtual skipping. So your feet are just a little bit apart, skipping through and trying to keep up pretty fast pace. So just like you're turning the rope over pretty fast, keep that little wrist action going just to keep it realistic as possible. And you're just clearing a little bit of space underneath the feet, enough to get the rope through without tripping over it. Actual skipping is fine if you have one and you've got enough room to do it, but otherwise uh, virtual skipping is good. Make sure you're not wearing heels if you're doing this on a timber floor apartment. So from there, we're going to come down into a bridge. So we did a bridge yesterday um, with a, a walking, marching action. Today we're going to do a bridge just with a little movement, almost like a pulse at the top. So again, as long as your shoulders are fine, full bridge. So arms are down, locked out, fingers are pointing back or out to the sides a bit. You're trying to get that straight line from your knees through to your shoulders. And the pulse is just down, so not all the way down. We're just coming down about 10 centimeters and back up. So squeezing the glutes at the top to get that full extension down, squeeze, down, squeeze. So little pulses. Um, if you want to add some rock to it, squeeze. No, just kidding. Keep the arms down. If you are having issues with your shoulders, come down into a shoulder bridge. So you're up on the shoulders. And again, it's down, squeeze. So the squeeze, you're squeezing your glutes together. That'll squeeze your hips to the sky. So you don't sort of push because that'll load up your lower back. Squeeze your glutes. That'll result in that straight line eventuating. So that's our first three deep squat, virtual skipping, bridge. Then we're going to go into what we call a honey badger crawl. So if you haven't looked up honey badgers don't care on YouTube yet, do so, you'll thank me for it. Keep the kids out of the way. It's uh, not kid friendly. So coming down into our honey badger position, which is hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and then just lifting those knees just off the ground. So they're about five, 10 centimeters off the ground. And then you're stepping forward like a honey badger and back. So it doesn't have to be a lot of movement. You can see I've only got a couple of meters here. If you've got three or four, great, go that little bit further. Key though is keeping the knees off the ground, breathing like every exercise. Keeping your abs engaged. This is a really good ab exercise, even if it doesn't look like one to start with. You're trying to imagine you're balancing a ball or a glass of water on your back. So you're not hunt, hunching up, you're not arching it down, trying to keep it as flat as possible. Little movements will help, help control that and not rocking from side to side. So keeping that control forwards and backwards. From there, we're going to go into our deep push up. So standard setup. Hands around the shoulders, all the way down, all the way up. Turn those fingers in a little bit to engage the chest more. All the way down, all the way up. If you can't get up on your toes, all the way down, drop the toes, all the way up. So just remember, this is not a push up. This is not a push up. This is not a push up. Push up is hips locked out, nice and straight. Coming down, chest to ground, and back up. So really, you want to get that full range of movement, arms locked out, chest to ground. If you can't do any toes, that's fine, drop the knees like I showed you. But you're better off doing four great reps, 
than 20 of those little top or bottom reps. They do give you some benefit sometimes, but not for the sort of exercise we're doing today. So four push-ups. Uh, and then our last ones is our flutter kicks. So we're coming down, or you'll, you'll already be down for your push-ups, so you're just gonna roll over. You come down on your back, you're gonna pull your knees into your chest. That's a very important start to set up for this to help anchor your lower back, pushing it into the ground. Hands go to sky, feet go out, and flutter kicks. So 45 seconds of those. If you need to rest during it, pull the knees in and go back out. So don't just drop your feet. Once your feet are extended, if you drop it, you're going to super load your lower back, which is when we get injuries. We don't want that. This is supposed to be a 12 minute hit out that you can go back to your desk and not think about it much for the rest of the day. So injuries we can avoid. So I hope that makes sense. I'm going to start my timer. I'm going to talk you through it, 45 seconds of exercise, 15 seconds of rest. We'll go through those six exercises and then we'll go back to the top. We'll do it again and we'll be done. So, getting all set up. So we're starting with our deep squats. Then we're going into our virtual skipping. So remember that 15 second break that you're gonna get after these deep squats is really just enough time to get set up for the skipping. So we're starting in, I'm gonna start the timer and you guys are gonna start before I do. It's starting in three, two, one, and go. So deep squats, all the way down, all the way up. So nice constant movement is the key here, good form. If you get both of those under control, then you can gradually pick up the speed. Speed should always be the last thing you're thinking about in these exercises. You make sure you're up nice and tall, shoulders are back at the top of the movement. We're already halfway through this set. Remembering from here, we're going into our virtual skipping, then into our bridges. 10 seconds of squats left. Five to go. Three, two, one, and steady there. Okay, shake it out. Get set up, ready for skipping. 10 seconds, we're away in our skipping. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. So all the way through, try not to have a rest, try not to break, just keep that rope turning over. Don't fake tripping over your rope, just to rest. It's an invisible rope, you can't trip over it. Keep those little jumps going. We're halfway through these 45 seconds set already. So remember in this next break, we're gonna get down ready for our bridges with a pulse. Ten seconds to go. Skip it out. Five to go. And steady. Okay. Down for our bridge. So get ready in the position. We've got five seconds till we're ready into our bridges. Four, three, two, one. Everyone up. And pulse. So a little pulse. Squeeze the glutes to the top. So try not to have your head too far forward or too far back here. Just nice neutral position. Try and maintain that alignment. We've got 30 seconds left. Remember from here, we're going to our honey badger crawls. So you're gonna go from this position in about 20 seconds time into all fours, getting ready to lift your knees off the ground. Keep that pulse, get those hips as high as you can really you have to keep refocusing on this to make sure you don't sit down here too low. Get them up as high as you can. Five seconds at least to go. Hang in there. Three, two, one, and steady. Bring it over. Get your hair out of your mouth. <laughs> Sit up. Ready for our crawls. Knees are off the ground and go. So forward and back. Little movements. Hang in there. I know that this one starts to hurt pretty quickly. If you don't have a lot of room to crawl, you can actually just stay here like this with your feet off the ground. That's totally fine. But little movement helps because you've got to stabilize a lot more muscles to keep in that position. 
15 seconds left. Keep it going. And 10 to go. 5, 2 go. 3, 2, 1. Steady there. Shake it out. Ready for our push ups. Push ups and flutter kicks to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Away we go. So all the way down, all the way up. Push those heels away, dig the toes in. Don't have them too wide. So as wide as you need to, to be able to get through the push-up. Too wide, you're taking off too much work. You're trying to do through stability. So you want to really work to keep your body steady. That's going to help engage the abs, engage the chest. 15 seconds to go of these. Chest all the way to the ground, all the way up. Make sure you're really working the movement, not just pumping them out nice and strong. Five to go. Three, two, one. Steady. On your backs. Ready for the last round. Four and a kick away. Five, knees in. Three, two, one. And go. So point those toes, reach for the sky. Everything should be shaking. Make sure you remember to breathe. A little movement through the feet. Head and shoulders off the ground. Pushing up high as you can. 25 seconds to go. 20 seconds left. Hang in there. 15. 10 seconds, that's all it is. Hold on. Five, four, three, two, one, and steady. Ah. Ah. Nice work, guys. Now we're going back to the top. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and go. So deep squats all the way down, all the way up. So nice constant movement is the key here, good form. If you get both of those under control, then you can gradually pick up the speed. Speed should always be the last thing you're thinking about in these exercises. You make sure you're up nice and tall. Shoulders are back at the top of the movement. We're already halfway through this set. Remembering from here, we're going into our virtual skipping, then into our bridges. 10 seconds of squats left. Five to go. Three, two, one, and steady there. Okay, shake it out. Get set up, ready for skipping. 10 seconds, we're away in our skipping. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. So all the way through, try not to have a rest. Try not to break. Just keep that rope turning over. Don't fake tripping over your rope, just to rest. It's an invisible rope, you can't trip over it. Keep those little jumps going. We're halfway through these 45 seconds set already. So remember in this next break, we're gonna get down ready for our bridges with a pulse. Ten seconds to go. Skip it out. Five to go. And steady. Okay. Down for our bridge. So get ready in the position. We've got five seconds till we're ready into our bridges. Four, three, two, one. Everyone up. And pulse. So a little pulse. Squeeze the glutes to the top. So try not to have your head too far forward or too far back here. Just nice neutral position. Try and maintain that alignment. We've got 30 seconds left. Remember from here, we're going to our honey badger crawls. So you're gonna go from this position in about 20 seconds time into all fours, getting ready to lift your knees off the ground. 
keep that pulse, get those hips as high as you can. Really, you have to keep refocusing on this to make sure you don't sit down here too low. Get them up as high as you can. Five seconds at least to go. Hang in there. Three, two, one, and steady. Bring it over. Get your hair out of your mouth. <laughs> Set up. Ready for our crawls. Knees are off the ground and go. So forward and back. Little movements. Hang in there. I know that this one starts to hurt pretty quickly. If you don't have a lot of room to crawl, you can actually just stay here like this with your feet off the ground. That's totally fine. But a little movement helps because you've got to stabilize a lot more muscles to keep in that position. 15 seconds left. Keep it going. And 10 to go. Five to go. Three, two, one. Steady there. Shake it out. Ready for our push ups. Push ups and flutter kicks to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Away we go. So all the way down, all the way up. Push those heels away, dig the toes in. Don't have them too wide. So as wide as you need to, to be able to get through the push up. Too wide, you're taking off too much work. You're trying to do through stability. So you want to really work to keep your body steady. That's going to help engage the abs, engage the chest. 15 seconds to go with these. Chest all the way to ground, all the way up. Make sure you're really working the movement, not just pumping them out nice and strong. Five to go. Three, two, one. Steady. On your backs. Ready for the last round. Four and a kick away. Five, knees in. Three, two, one, and go. So point those toes, reach for the sky. Everything should be shaking. Make sure you remember to breathe. Little movements with the feet. Head and shoulders off the ground. Pushing up. High as you can. 25 seconds to go. 20 seconds left. Hang in there. 15. 10 seconds, that's all it is. Hold on. Five, four, three, two, one, and steady. Ah. Nice work guys, that's it, two rounds done, 12 minutes of work, huh. I'm exhausted so I'm betting you are as well, that's a really good way to get the heart rate up through the roof, if anyone tells you you can't push through, oh, excuse me, if anyone tells you you can't push yourself to the limit in 10 minutes, give them that one to have a crack at. Go and grab yourself a water. Make sure you stretch down. When you use muscles intensely for that period of time, there's a bunch of things you probably haven't done before. If you don't stretch down and keep moving for the rest of the day, they're all gonna tighten up. You're gonna feel really sore tomorrow or probably sore the day after. So just make sure, even if you go out for a walk, um, and otherwise get some of those, some of our cool down stretches done that we've been doing together uh, in front of the telly tonight and tomorrow. And I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in again guys. Catch you very soon. Bye.